What's up everybody, it's your favorite owl, Eagle Owl here. We got a brand new reaction and review for you guys today to Architects. A brand new record, classic symptoms of a broken spirit. Listen, there's so many mixed stuff about Architects' new sound after like a year or so. Yeah, after like a year since For Those That Wish To Exist came out. The last record for me was a miss at the start of the year, but then by the end of the year, I loved. So it took time for me to actually enjoy it. From what I'm hearing online from reviews and everybody online, it's mixed feedback, but more in the sense of like, this is not gonna be a great record. I haven't listened to this record at all yet. This is just my first thoughts before the record and everything. And we're gonna see, we're honestly gonna see. It's very disheartening when you hear Sam on Reddit beforehand, like maybe like a month or two ago saying, oh, you guys haven't seen the hardened tracks and everything. But then you see Dan post a comment about saying, oh yeah, the record is possibly gonna very much screw over a lot of fans. We're gonna, we're doing this to basically hate on a lot of fans or basically we're, we made this despite hating on the fans and despite we don't care, like, you're supposed to make music creatively on how you want to pursue music and you want to enjoy making the music. If you're there to basically really get at the fans that are getting screwing over you, you're not making music for the right reasons. So we're going to see how this record pulls off and if it is doing what they say that they're doing and what the feedback is, we're going to have very much a downfall for Architects, I think. Let's go right into it. Deep fake. We got the chunk. I remember Sam's makeup for this video it was like he was all emo y. <laughs> I remember it. I'm like, why? Why? It was so funny. I thought they were gonna go more emo y at this record and be like, wait, Architects went emo? <laughs> good song. This was one of the songs from this record that I'm like, yo, this is really good. This is really bloody good. And I, I, I was excited after hearing this song. I'm like, Ooh, we're in for a treat. We're in for a treat for this. Let's get into it. Tear gas. I forgot what tear gas. Also, the cover just feels plain compared to the last record. For just the cover art. The cover art's so plain. Just like my sweater. I don't know what to feel about it. It's like it's there. I don't know. It just feels there. I don't know. Like. To me, tear gas felt very underwhelming. It just did. It just did. Compared to deep fake, it was like, it had its moments, but like, it just wasn't there. It wasn't there compared to the last record. It wasn't. I don't know what happened. Spit the bone. Let's see. Oh? We got some electronics. I'm noticing a lot more clean. From Sam. So far. A lot more clean since screens than the last session already. Very repetitive though. Repetitive for Arkham. What was that duh? <laughs> Wait, a black? Hear me out. So let me give you a reference of this song. For that ending, basically. I love Spider-Man 3. And this reference, everyone's gonna get right away. As Spider-Man 3 had a lot of villains, had a lot of characters, all combined into one movie, and they just didn't do it right. But the new Spider-Man did. They had a lot of villains, but they made it work. With Spider-Man 3, they did. They just didn't know how to place them. They didn't know where to put it. That was basically this track where they put so much stuff into it. They did not know where to place it. They did not know where to put it. What was this, Architects? <laughs> what? That ending was like, why? What What did you make? What was the reason behind this? Like, this is just weird, sporadic, and just weird. Like, you were basically showing off stuff that we don't even can understand, basically. It was just uncalled for and weird. Why? I don't know that track. I generally don't get it. I don't know. Leave it. Leave it. Burn down my house. I expect screams on this. Burn down my house. Oh. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Am I the only one that thinks like he should be going faster? It feels the tempo's off. It just feels off. He, he feels like he's dragging it. Well, maybe 
maybe the song just feels drag. Feels strap. I don't know why. Just is. Very nice guitar work though. I like the big chunks of that. Interesting. I don't know. It's a weird one. It's it's better than the last ones. It's better than the last two tracks. I'll say that. It's just a different atmosphere from Architects with that. It, a lot more slower track. It felt stretched. I don't know. Something was going on with that track that needed to be made quicker with that tempo. It just felt long and stretched. Maybe they went for it for that aesthetic. Lemon is killing us. What is this? Vocals from Sam. This song isn't that bad. It's okay. It's different for Architects. Definitely. Very much more of the repetitive side for a lot of these tracks, though. All right, track. Just repetitive. That's all I can say. It just it felt that one felt long as well. Like a lot of these tracks are feeling just long. They should have been shortened. Maybe these are basically throwaway songs that didn't make the last record. When we were young, when I first heard this song, I'm like, a lot of people were like, "What is Architects going in this direction?" A lot of people are like that. Even myself, I'm like, "What are they going into?" And honestly, this record feels a lot like the same as when we were young, the song. Like, it sounds a lot like this. And I love how they love how they said on like online that it doesn't sound like this at all, the record. I'm like, dude, where? Where? This is one of those songs that is just like, why? Very much a strange one. That's all I could say. Doom scrolling. Weird song name. Oh. Not bad, actually. Like, that ain't not bad yet. Like that instrumental. Probably best song yet. Well, not best, best song. I, I, I still think the best song so far would be Deep Fake, but like, Doom Scrolling is like top two. For sure. Not that bad. Like, it, it's decent, but could be better. Born Again pre Presented. I, I'm terrible at names. What we got going on, boys? You did like a voice change. It's an okay song, but it isn't for me. I say that like it, it's not that bad. I still would listen to it when the album plays, but like even then, it's just a weird one. A new moral low ground. So this one came out like a couple days ago, just before the album dropped. I haven't listened to it all. I don't know how this sounds. I never heard any from anything from about this, so this is new to me. Very much giving that guitar emo theme. Ooh, catchy one. Decent, decent, catchy but decent. That's all I could say. It's okay, nothing amazing, but all right, all the love in the world. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, I got chills. Okay. Ooh, arena vibe-ish. Nice, Architects. Wow. Best track yet. Best track yet. I'll, I'll, I'll say that right now. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. This is probably the best track on the record now. Nice. Okay, okay. But it was basically the 10th song, and then now we have a lot. <laughs> Jeez, guys. All right. Last track. Be very afraid. Let's do it. Oh. I want to point out did sam just literally like forget the rest of the album and just said oh yeah these last two tracks are probably the best tracks and the representation of this record <laughs> on reddit i think he did i think he just forgot what the record said <laughs> you went that low you went that low oh what is this ending this is ending, boys. We got birds. Did he hear a wahoo? <laughs> like Mario wahoo? Okay, Architects, this is what I have to say about this record. At the same time like last year, it's the same thing. It's like, yes, it's pretty a letdown, but also this one is more of a letdown than last year's. And people have even said this on the internet. So literally, what did you guys change? What did you do? What was your writing process like? Something changed. Maybe it was management. We don't even know what's going on over there too. We don't even know what the record company is doing to these guys. We don't even know. So it's strange. It's very, very strange. Either way, I still stand by my comment earlier that like Dan should not be 
the band should not be writing music for the sake of basically not doing creatively what they love if they're basically saying that hey we know people are going to be pissed off and we know that we're pissing off a lot of fans because of this and why are you releasing it? i get that creative freedom of all sorts but you're releasing stuff that you know that are going to piss off fans that's not the point of making music i'm sorry but that's my four take on this there's a few songs that's great but like even then is it something that people are going to be like wow architects you did amazing this year work on your sound work on your writing process work on a lot of things that's all i could say guys so what the fans like but also still have your love for it, but don't go in the same point of screwing over your fans that's not the point of music making at all so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what are your guys overall thoughts of the record is and that's about it guys talk to you guys the next one and peace out